Hello friends and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about things that you think that you should keep, but you actually should declutter. And I'm going to give you the reasons why. And some of it actually tackles gifts. And I know that is a huge, huge problem for a lot of people is when to declutter gifts. If this is your first time here, my name is Robin. I make videos for overwhelmed women who are trying to declutter all of the excess in their lives so that they can start living them. So just recently, I just did some more decluttering. Now on this channel, I make videos that will save you either time, money, or energy. And decluttering definitely will save you energy in the long run. And hopefully it saves you some money too. So I wanna get to a couple of things here and we're gonna start with gifts. Now I decluttered my kitchen again and I'm shocked because I only did it a couple of weeks ago and I still had things. This is all of the stuff that I have decluttered from my kitchen and I didn't even think that I had much more to declutter. Look at this. And look at my son's lunch leftovers. Look at. So once you declutter, you will be very happy that you have that space back. You don't realize it, but clutter is actually quite oppressive and it makes it hard for you to work in your kitchen. You want to be able to go in there, not be stressed out and make it easy to clean. So once you get it decluttered, you will be very happy. So at the end, I'm going to share with you some tips and you can actually see how clean some of my cupboards are now. So this is things that where you feel like you should keep it, but really you shouldn't. And this is something that was a gift. This is something that my grandma gave me. And it is so that you can evenly slice cakes of any like width, like some of them are like those really fine ones, which is a great idea. And I really appreciate that she gave me this because she knows that I love to bake and cook. But the thing is, I've had it for like five years. I've never used it. So I could keep it because she gave it to me and think, hey, maybe I will use it one day but I'm not going to. And even if I did use it one day, it's not worth keeping. So that is something I'm decluttering. Here's another thing that is a gift. Now this one is actually kind of sad for me to get rid of. And that is something I want you to know is it's not always easy to get rid of things, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. This was a gift from my mother-in-law, a taste of Scotland. She's from Scotland and Lots of nice pictures, but it really just isn't for me. Um, none of the recipes really appeal and a lot of them are online. So I don't really have that much room for that many extra cookbooks. Another thing where you would think I should keep it would be this cupcake stand because my second cousin gave it to me. And I have used it a couple of times when we've had cupcakes, but I'm gonna be honest, it kind of takes up a lot of space. I don't love it and like why? When we can just use a platter. That is something I'm decluttering. Ugh. This is something I really didn't think that I was going to declutter. This is um, an enamel cast iron pot that I have used it a lot in the past. Now this is the thing where you think, of course I shouldn't declutter it. I use it. But the thing is, I don't really use it that much anymore. I use it to make baked beans about once a year. It's not really worth keeping it for that. I have other vessels I can use. And it came with a three piece set. Oh. Oh gosh, it cast iron is so heavy. You know, I used to love watching Pioneer Woman, um, her blog and all that, and I just haven't anymore. So this one, I used it a lot as well. She used a lot of those things and I could, I don't have another thing like this, but to be honest, I normally just use my regular pans and I just don't, can't really justify keeping it. It's heavy, it's bulky as you can see. And every time I haul it out, I'm like, Ugh. so we're not gonna be um, decluttering that. But I did keep this lasagna pan um, from that enamel set because I really like it. And this is something I actually do use. Here is a cup that my son got and it had this beautiful like heart that changed um, color, got put in the dishwasher. I said to him, can I declutter it? And he was like, yeah, so that is gone. You know, decluttering something for your kids, that's not something you wanna do. My husband loves Volkswagens and funny enough, we went up to Courtney, we're on Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. We went up to Courtney for a Volkswagen thing and he got this. He loves Volkswagen vans, but he does not use this. There's really no point in keeping it. <laughs> nobody uses it. Like why keep stuff that you don't use? Here's a baby cup. This, no babies used it. It's too small by the time they could actually use it. My griddle for pancakes. I have used this a lot in the past, but you know what I do now instead? I just get out two frying pans. That's what I do. There's really just no point in keeping it. It takes up a lot of space. When you are deciding what to keep, you need to think to yourself, 
do I use this on a regular basis? In my upcoming simplified kitchen course where I discuss decluttering and also proper functional layout in your kitchen, we discuss how to actually declutter things for your kitchen. And I'm gonna tell you right now what they are. It's to keep the things that you use and especially if you use them on a regular basis. If you use them once or twice a year and they don't take up a lot of space, like we have an apple core peeler thing, which I love because it saves a ton of time, a ton of energy, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So keeping something like that when you don't use it a lot, that makes a lot of sense. But keeping something really bulky like this griddle that we almost never use, that is definitely not making sense. Also, it's good to get rid of duplicates. This pot, we have a lot of other pots that we can use, so there really isn't a lot of point to keeping that. I bought this KitchenAid glass bowl for my mixer and I thought that I would use it, but I really don't. And it just takes up a lot of space. It's glass, so you wanna be careful not to break it. And that's just one of those things where I might use it once a year, but it really isn't worth the space that it takes up. I have another basket full of things that I thought that I needed to keep for like muffins, like this, this muffin top tin. This is great because muffin tops, they're delicious. But to be honest, I just normally, if I'm making muffins, I'm kind of in a hurry. I just throw the, the uh, papers in a muffin tin and off we go. Same with this nice little square loafy one. I, I enjoyed having like little muffin loafs, but we just don't need them anymore. You would think, sure, of course I should keep a stainless steel water bottle, but where's the lid exactly? There is no lid. So you know what? You gotta declutter it. Gigantic cooling rack. No, I don't need this. I almost never use it. My mom downsized, gave it to me and was like, keep this for me. I'm not keeping it. It's going. Sorry, mom. When we got our first cat, we got this container. And this is a good example of something that you buy and you think I have a definite purpose for that. You, you went out, you bought it. And then you don't want to declutter it when the time comes. This is a container that I bought from the dollar store for our cat food. And then we got a bigger container because we got a couple more cats. And so We've been using the bigger container and then it just occurred to me, I've just been hanging on to this. Why have I been hanging on to this? So I'm going to declutter this and actually my friend is going to keep it. I just wanna show you quickly a couple of cupboards now that are way clean where these things mostly were housed and you can actually get that for yourself. Now, if you are struggling on getting your kitchen clean or getting it functional, then click the link below all about my simplified kitchen course. Check it out, There's, it's quite inexpensive and it's even on sale right now. So let's see the results. Here's a cat. It's nice and clean in here now. There was a ton of stuff in there before. And this is my kitchen decluttering playlist. YouTube thinks you'll like this and I hope to see you next time.